What is up guys, Zane from playbook.gg. In today's video, we are going to break down how you can make any defensive play look like any other defensive play in Madden 19. Before we dive into this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the great tutorials that we've got headed your way here on the playbook.gg YouTube channel. Okay guys, so welcome back. Now in today's video, we're gonna break down the most important thing that you probably did not know about defense and how it's played in Madden 19. Now we're gonna start off with a meta. I mean, this is something that you guys are gonna, if you played the game, you're still playing it in June, you're gonna know what this is. I'm gonna go ahead and call the cross three fire press. Now, if you didn't know, you're gonna learn something else, a little two from one tip. Now we all know how crossfire has been run in previous years. You get this situation where you get this one linebacker who always stands right here and gives away the blitz, right? So that allows your opponent to, you know, try to set up a, uh, a pass protection and that's going to allow them to dot something into the left flat. It just gives away what they want to do on the play, right? Because that linebacker always steps forward, that can be a real pain. So, you know, this is just one thing. Yes, the blitz is good, but uh, you can kind of see that um, it's given away. Your opponent is going to know by that player stepping forward. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to go ahead and place that exact blitz into my audibles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out in just a base zone call. I'm going to come out in the cover six show four. And as soon as we break the huddle, I'm going to audible into the crossfire. Now, I want you to watch what happens. We audible into the crossfire. And notice that that linebacker doesn't take that exaggerated step. Now, this is something that obviously crossfire is not very big to the meta at this point. But it is still something that you can apply this, this particular tactic into your own defense and try to create some, some different things with it. So obviously right here, you know, you can kind of see that this is how we disguise Crossfire so as to not give away that tell. Now, again, like I said, Crossfire is really not pertinent to the meta right now, but I'm going to show you how you can use this tactic to make anything look like anything else. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and go back into, I want to go ahead and call a play that has the safeties underneath in a hook zone. Uh, so the cover three sky press, that's a really good one. I'm going to go ahead and set that as an audible. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come out in um, a different, I'm going to come out in a different play. I'm going to come out in the double safety go, which is a double safety blitz. Now what I'm going to do is we break the huddle. I'm going to go ahead and audible straight into that cover three sky press. Now I want you to watch what our safeties do on this play. Notice how they both run down into the box. This is going to change the game for you. This will allow you to basically cross man this will allow you to try to do some things with those safeties being low in the in the the pocket or in, in the box that's going to allow you to you know shut down some of those post routes some of those crossing routes that are giving you trouble so this is not just something that helps you disguise blitzes this can also make coverages look different as well i can make any coverage in the game and so can you look like any other coverage in the game so uh, for instance, if I wanted to, we could go ahead and talk about how people love that cover two. You, you, you talk about how players love to run cover two and they walk their safeties down to keep away the quick pass. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. You, we've all faced that. You don't want to give up that quick throw in the seam, so you walk your safeties down. Why not call the double safety blitz and then just call the play so your safeties walk down for you and you don't ever have to get quick snapped while you're not on that player. Now, of course, I'm just doing this at a dollar. I'm not really scheming anything together right now. I'm just showing you how you can try to use this tip to kind of improve your game now um you know obviously there's going to be players out there that are going to take this to the next level and they're really going to disguise their stuff very well there's certain blitzes in the game that you know rely on certain looks there's certain blitzes in the game that are better if you move a guy out of a spot you can start to kind of look for plays that have the guys in the spot you want but disguise them as the other place. That way they're actually doing what you want them to rather than, you know, giving away by, you know, you've always run a defense before where if you move a guy, your opponent's like, okay, well, when he moves that guy, he's definitely blitzing him or he's definitely putting him in this zone or, you know, you've seen that before playing games over, over the last couple of years. But this tip is going to take you to the next level in that regard because you're going to be able to kind of disguise things. So here's free safety th middle three. I'm just going to go ahead and audible into, into say, cover two in the, in the nickel 335, and then watch what's going to end up happening right here. I mean, I can go ahead and it basically turns this into the cover two defense, 
but you've got those guys down in the box, you can start to kind of, you know, evolve your coverage on here. And this is going to give your opponents a lot of trouble really figuring out what you're in. They see those safeties walk down, they automatically assume, okay, cover three blitz. Or the, if they see both walk down, they think cover zero double safety blitz when you're really not in those defenses. So this is just a way to kind of take advantage of your opponents picking up on tells and really start to confuse them and tip that, that balance back in the defense's favor in Madden 19. You guys, if you like this tip, Make sure you check out our Disguise Blitzing game plan on Playbook GG. You guys can get everything on the website for $9.95 a month. That's close to 30 game plans per year for $9.95 a month. You're going to pay $30 for a game plan anywhere else for just one game plan. So why not pay a third of the price and get access to everything that we have to offer on Playbook GG? Game plans by myself. Game plans by Antcap. Playbooks or game plans written by pro Madden players that are playing in the MCS in Friday Night Football. All those big events winning all the money. Learn how to play the game the best of your ability and take that game to the next level. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck. If you like this video, check out one of the videos on your screen right now. And for more in-depth analysis, visit www.playbook.gg for detailed game plans written by pro Madden players. Master the game with playbook.gg.